Hello everyone, today we're going to look at negative exponents. So by definition, x to the negative n is going to be 1 over x to the n, and therefore 1 over x to the negative n equals x to the n. So if I have a negative exponent, I can take the reciprocal and make the exponent positive. So we're going to write the following without any negative exponents. So a, we have y to the negative 2, so we have a negative exponent, so we're going to be using this rule, and we're just going to bring it down into the denominator. 1 over y squared, our negative exponent then becomes positive. 3 to the negative 3, that would be 1 over 3 cubed, but we know what 3 cubed is, hopefully, 27. So 1 over 27. 1 over z to the negative 2, and that's following this guy. I have a negative exponent. I'm going to take the reciprocal, so I have a double reciprocal, which means that it's just z to the positive 2. Do some more. 2x to the negative 2. So this is where I see a lot of mistakes, that 2 is not being raised to an exponent. So when I flip it, I'm only flipping the x. The 2 stays where it is. So it's still 2 and then 1 over x squared, which becomes 2 over x squared. Same thing with e. 2 over 3x to the negative 5. The 3 is not being raised to a negative exponent, so it stays where it is, which in this case is the denominator. So it's only the x that gets moved. And we end up with 2x to the 5th, over 3. And then for 4, again, only the x is raised to a negative exponent, so that's the only thing that's getting moved. The 3 stays where it is, the 5 stays where it is. And we end up with 3 over 5x to the 4th. So let's try some more. So now we're going to be including some um, division and multiplication in here. So x cubed, y to the negative 2, z to the negative 1. Anything that has a negative exponent, we're going to move down to the denominator and make the exponent positive. So the x cubed stays where it is. y to the negative 2 becomes 1 over y squared. z to the negative 1 becomes 1 over z. So we end up with x cubed over y squared z. For b, the 2 squared, the um, 2 and the exponent's positive, so it stays where it is. The negative 3 means I'm going to take my 3 cubed, bring it down, and then I can do 2 squared and 3 cubed, and I end up with 4 over 27. For our last one, x cubed divided by z to the negative 4th. The z has a negative exponent, so we're going to bring it to the other side of the fraction bar, which means we're going to bring it up. So we have x cubed times z to the 4th. And then our last three. So for our first one, we have 2x to the negative 2, y cubed, all raised to the negative 2. So remember, rules of exponents, if I have a product and that's being raised to a power, then I just raise each factor to the power. So I have 2 to the negative 2. And then I have x to the negative 2 to the negative 2. So remember, something to a power to a power, we multiply those exponents. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And then y cubed to the negative 2, again I multiply them, I get y to the negative 6. Everything that has a negative exponent goes in the denominator. So my x to the 4th stays on top. On the bottom I have 2 squared, which is 4, and then y to the 6th. For e, we have things that are being multiplied. So remember, if I have something to a power times something to a power, I add the powers. So coefficient-wise, I have a 3 on top. My 2 is to a negative power, so that goes on the bottom. And then if I look at my x's, I have x to the negative 2 times x to the 3. I add those exponents, I get x to the 1, so that goes on top. Then I have my y's, y to the 4th times y to the 10th, 
is y to the negative 6. Negative tells me it goes on the bottom. And then lastly, I have my z's. z to the 1 times z to the negative 1. I add those exponents, I get 0. And remember, anything to the 0 is 1, so it just goes away. So 3x over 2y to the 6. For our last one, we have division. So remember, um, exponent-wise, we subtract them. So I'm going to start again with my coefficients. 3 over 6, which I kind of got rid of the a's there, so I'll erase it. But 3 over 6 is 1 over 2. I don't need the 1 just yet. For my a's, I have the negative 4 minus negative 2 is negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2, which tells me it goes on the bottom. My b's, 3 minus 5 is again negative 2. Negative tells me it goes on the bottom. And then for my c's, I have c squared over c to the negative 8. 2 minus negative 8 is 2 plus 8, which is 10. That's positive, so it goes on top. So c to the 10th divided by 2a squared b squared. So with the negative exponents, you still need the rules of exponents also in order to solve them. Okay, so um, make sure you try them out, read the book, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.